Who's playing? One of the bands at CMA Fest. Every June, dozens of country stars descend upon Nashville, Tennessee for four days of live, unforgettable fun. That must be a feast for the ears. And a feast for the eyes. What do you mean? Think about it. At a live concert, you're not just listening to the music. You're there watching it. The band jamming on stage, the crowd in a frenzy, the props, the lights, the special effects. All these visual elements add to the mood of those ballads, which is why live country music is such an amazing experience. But how do they pull it off, especially at CMA Fest, with so many bands playing around the city? Steam, of course. Science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. That steam? Yep. Steam is what creates the iconic sights, sounds, and experiences of live music. In this case, live country music. Light comes from many natural and artificial sources, like sunlight, campfire flames, a flashlight, or even the glow of a tiny firefly. When light hits an object, some or all of it is either reflected or absorbed by the object. A white object reflects all the light. A gray object reflects some of it, while a black object absorbs all of it. In other words, it doesn't reflect any light at all. When this reflected light enters our eye, it moves to the retina, which interprets the colors of the light and translates it into an electric signal. The optic nerve sends that signal to the brain's visual center, or cortex, helping us to see the objects before us. Humans have not only learned how to make artificial light, we've also learned how to make it do cool things at a live show. These lighting effects matched to the mood of a song are a big reason why live country music has such an emotional impact on the audience. So how do you get that job? What job? The job where you get to design a stage and set up the lights to go along with the music. Let's ask Alec Takahashi, who works with country music singer and songwriter Thomas Rhett. When I think about the term light, I immediately think energy in a sense of physically energy emits light as well as light in a live show environment creates energy for an audience. And I think it's such a powerful and cool tool to invoke emotion. Hi, I'm Alec Takahashi, lighting designer and lighting director for Thomas Rhett. I oversee a lot of the creative elements of the show. So that includes special effects as in pyrotechnics, special effects with fog, video elements, anything visual that you see on a Thomas Rhett show, I oversee and have teams of people that work to create what that end result is. Realistically, in planning for a tour, discussion can start from anywhere from six months before, which is a relatively tight timeline, up to a year, year and a half of where we start talking concepts. That creative phase is just super fun, engaging, and ultimately a great live show comes out of that at some point. I am a dreamer, but I'm not good at bringing certain dreams to life. And Alec is a dreamer, but also great at executing those dreams. And so I'll sit there, I'm a terrible drawer, but I'll just kind of draw like what I'm thinking and he'll draw what he's thinking and then he'll take it into the computer and like render it to make it look for real, like, you're, like you've seen it on a picture. So we work with a CAD or computer-aided design software that places things realistically and to scale of where things are in a stage space. And we start pumping out renders, realistic photoshopped looks of what the stage could look like with lights and all those elements in fog and concepts that we can present Thomas and he can love it or hate it. And that process goes back and forth a little bit so after the show is designed and approved and we're moving forward in the stages of building it, we often go into a phase of what's called previs or pre-visualization. And previs allows me as the lighting director and programmer to get into that space and prep everything on the lighting console in a way that's gonna support that show and hit the ground running in rehearsals to create that show in a healthy timeline. When we get to the phase of being in the rehearsal facility, it is the first step in feeling the show come to life from the first tangible point of seeing these ideas on paper and on computer screens and now seeing it in person built. It is that first moment of, this is gonna happen. This is real, you feel it. And the show starts coming to fruition at that point. 
The lighting console, it is the brain for the show. It is where all of the songs are programmed. It is how every bit of the lighting and visual elements are controlled from. And it is my blank canvas when I start rehearsals. From there, I can articulate all the lights to do what I want. I can point them where I want, I can put them in a color, have patterns, I can flash them, move them, whatever I want them to do, I manipulate them from that console. Day of show feelings are excitement. It's a new venue, it's a new crowd. We do the show every night, but the people that are coming that night, it's the first time they're experiencing that. It gets tiring. We do the same thing 60 times over the course of the tour. And each night, that person is seeing it for the first time and giving it our all and making sure it is just as we did that first night of the tour on night 40 is really important because that person is expecting that. And it's our job to deliver that. There are shows where you just feel like you are completely in sync with the crowd. It's something spiritual, honestly, like you, you look out there and when you're moving, they're moving. When you put your hands up, they put their hands up. You look at your band and they're smiling because they just nailed a solo that they've been working on for three weeks. And you look at your drummer and he finally nailed a drum fill that he'd been working on for three weeks. And everyone's just in unison clicking, which is how music should feel to me. You know, and you, and you walk out there and you hope and you pray that tonight is going to rock. And if that crowd feels it the same as you do, you walk off stage with a smile on your face and know that you, you did your job. That's some good singing in Nashville, Tennessee. Music is such an opportunity to share cultures, to share backgrounds, to share stories. And those stories should travel to wherever they need to go. And I have my touring family with the Thomas Rhett family. And it is a family that I will love and be with as, as long as the world allows me to. So how do I become a lighting designer and director like Alec Takahashi? You could work backstage at a school, church, or other neighborhood production. They're always looking for volunteers. Good idea. I guess science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math really are at the heart of country music. That's why we call it STEAM Country.